In Strategy Quant X, it is possible to test basically any idea a trader or strategy developer has. Today, I want to show you a simple example how to backtest the Hull Moving Average ATR Bands indicator. This is a technical analysis indicator, a type of moving average around which are formed notional lines that represent dynamic support or resistance. On the chart, the indicator looks really like this. The red line is the price movement that the indicator smooths and the blue lines are the ATR bands. Based on the thousands of backtests we have performed, we can confidently say that, in general, indicators built on moving averages show some of the best performance. Let's now take a look at the use of this indicator in practice directly in Strategy Quant X. What you see in front of you is a simple strategy which is built on trading the GBPUSD pair on data from 2003 to 2022. Our entry condition is that the close must be greater than the Hull moving average ATR bands upper. To give you a better idea, I will go back to the sample chart of the indicator and the close price must be greater than this upper blue curve. Conversely, we exit the trade and enter the short when the close price is lower than the Hull moving average ATR bands lower, which on our chart is the lower blue curve. A 90 new backtest shows that this indicator retains quality performance. One single rule. And moreover, in this backtest, we also take into account the high spread and slippage. You can download this indicator to StrategyQuant directly at www.strategyquant.com in the code base section where you can simply find it among the indicators, download the zip file and import the .sxp file into StrategyQuant. In StrategyQuant, simply click on the code editor icon in the top right corner and you can already see the import and export option in the top main menu. Click on that and select import extension. Then all you have to do is define the folder and select the file. Please note that after importing any indicator, you need to restart strategic one. And after the restart, you can use the indicator as you wish.